In this video, you are going to learn about polar bond and dipole moment of a molecule. As you may have seen before, when we talk about the covalent bond, we talk about electronegativity. When the difference in electronegativity of two atoms, when that, let's call this delta electronegativity, when that it is less than 0 0.4, we can call that is about pure covalent. Covalent means sharing. When the difference in electronegativity is greater than 1.8, we call that ionic, and anything in between, we call that polar covalent. That means the electrons are not sharing equally on both atoms. For example, if you have oxygen diatomic molecule what happens is the electron the covalent bond over here the electron over here will be sharing equally because they are about the same it is about the same element so it share equally what happens if you have O let's say over here and F no because F will have a higher electronegativity and therefore if you draw the electron cloud, more electron will be going to the F side because it has a higher electronegativity. Okay, so let's draw more. Let's do the ones that is more obvious. Let's say I have HCl. Of course, the electron is going to go more toward the Cl side. Go like this. So this bond is polar. Polar means the covalent bond that is not sharing equally. So that is called polar. Polar means covalent bond is not sharing equally. Okay. Okay. The next term will be is called dipole moment. Dipole moment. Okay. Moment, another word for moment is torque. That is force times length. Okay. In this case, why do we call that dipole moment? So the same molecule, the H C L, so it will be Partially negative over here, positive, positive over here. Some molecule, let's say in a big container, we have HCl like this. So the negative side will be here, positive will be here. Over here, we have, let's say we have Cl, we have H. So positive over here, partial charge. Sometimes people do something like this to denote that is partially charged. Okay. All right, so let's go to do the same way. Okay, so what happened if I put these molecules in an electric field? Okay, so we're creating a field. So there can be a force. That's why it's called the torque or moment. Let's say over here is a minus sign. Over here is positive sign. So I connect these two plates to a very big battery. Okay, so let's say this is negative side. This is a positive side. So I connect them like this. Let's say this is a 1,000 volt. Okay, so what happened? This molecule, the H that has a partial positive charge, is going to go closer to the negative. Why? Because the opposite charge would tend to attract each other. Okay. So if you put electric field on, what happened? They are these three molecules. They will align together. And what you will see, the three will become something like this because 
they would like to share that they would like to do like this over here the negatives will be closer to the positive and the positive will be closer to the negative okay so it can be like this it can be like this okay and this effect is called dipole moment of a molecule this is a simple example so in order to have dipole moment we need to have polar bonds first okay the question will be if a molecule have polar bonds will that molecule must have dipole moment the answer is no but if a molecule has a dipole moment that molecule should have a polar bond okay so i'm going to give you an example let's say we are going to draw c cl 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 and cl over here the chlorine is going to get more electron than the carbon so this will be the electron distribution for example okay so each of these will pull the electron a little bit out from the carbon therefore each of the chlorine will get a partially negative charge and therefore in the center it will be partially positive charge however this molecule is it has no dipole moment why because when you put it in all those negative cancel out c plus inside so you have a cl this one let's say this side is positive this side is negative okay but all this negative will not be attracted to the positive okay so this chlorine chlorine supposedly will attract to the positive but since the other chlorine also should attract to the positive so it get cancelled out so when a molecule has a perfect geometry even if it has polar bonds still it will not have any dipole moment so by using electric field is the easiest way to test for dipole moment of a molecule